they've really cleaned up the way they're playing football games, cleaned up the penalties, cleaned over mistakes and turnovers, and the last three games have really shown what they're capable of. Luca Lombardo with the kickoff, the return by Cameron Ross, and he puts the ball on the carpet, picks it back up, and he's brought down at about the 10-yard line. They'll mark him at the 12. Third down and four. Edwards cuts it back inside, lowers his shoulder. We'll keep an eye on that. DC defense forcing this carrot hand punt. Jaden Williams from his 34. It's one man miss, still on his feet, but doesn't make much out of it. Picks up a couple of yards. ACC offensive lineman of the week. Screen pass, batted up in the air. Castellanos catches it, can't throw it again. He's got to run it. Probably would have been better off just knocking that ball down as he's going to lose about 10 yards. Now he catches it. <laughs> well, that was not planned, but a good job, right? Good job by Eric Watts. You know, his tight end slips off a favorite target in these situations. Castellanos will run it. Close to the yard marker, gets it about beyond the 45. Extra O-lineman in for this one. Castellanos broke one of these for a touchdown last week. He's going to keep it, try to get to the outside. He does, and he picks up enough yardage to move the sticks. That's the bread and butter. Robichaux right up the middle, tackled high. He's able to drag a defender for about five yards. That was Eric Watts' defensive end. That shows you Robichaux's strength right there. Getting your pads down, getting lower, has really helped with his yards after contact. Castellanos to pass. He has all kinds of time. The ball slips out of his hands. And he's able to fall on it, or was he? UConn thinks they have the ball. The officials will get together, oh. and they got it. UConn picks up the fumble. Bryce Yates was able to fall on it. Very similarly in the Army game earlier in the year. Now, that game was raining, right? You know, tons of rain in that game. The ball was wet and slick. But anytime you get a, a smaller stature quarterback, right? You, you just, if, there's always a concern about hand size and grip strength. He's been good for the most part, but you know, this is one where the ball just, just slips right out and look for it coming off the top side. They bring it. It is coming off the top. Picked up nicely enough for Roberson to hit his receiver who avoids a tackle. Going to pick up a first down. Stepping out of bounds at the 34. That's Jordan Porter. Now second down and two. Might change what's working so well for you though. Although Edwards before he even got to the line of scrimmage. Roberson's going to throw over the middle. Tight window and he gets it in there. Found Brett Buckman. Roberson the pitch, Edwards looking for blockers in front, has him inside the 10, still on his feet, down to the three. De Palma makes the tackle. That weak eye formation, little pitch out, watch 51. Watch their center, that dude's moving. And moving Ooh, people. Pancake <laughs> out of bounds, too. Drive off the screen. He'll get the carry, powers his way to the goal line. No signal yet. No signal yet. Trying to unpile the pile, and 97 isn't hard to find, and he's in. His sixth <laughs> rushing touchdown of the year for the deep lineman. The a touchdown. Get the ball, hand it off. You know, when I played for the New York Giants, there was times where I was in that like goal line tight end position. Never got the ball thrown to me, right? But like, you're always hoping for that moment. Well, Jelani Stafford. It's funny when you talk to the coaches about their running back room. They mentioned him. They're like, you know, he can't really do all the plays. Had a game earlier this year where he recovered a fumble on the opposing team's two-yard line and stayed in the game and on the very next play ran it in. Yep. No way Rulis with the PAT. Very unfortunate name for a kicker. <laughs> but he makes it anyway. Seven to nothing. After the fumble, Castellanos. Design draw. Has blockers in front of him. A lot of room to run. Runs into the back of his, his own player, but he's able to scoot beyond him. Look at this run. I mean... Virginia, they were down 21 to seven, and the season really hung in the balance yes. in that game. Came back to win that one. Down in the fourth quarter to Army. Quarter last week, but that you saw that plus 48 in the fourth quarter. That, that's when it really counts. Bond on the receiving end here from Castellanos takes it inside of UConn territory. Tackled at the 40 by Malik Dixon Williams. Third and eight. Castellanos to Tomlin. Can he make a defender miss? He does. Does he get to the first down? I think he's going to be just a little bit shy. Robichaux in motion. Castellanos is going to run it himself. Picks up the first down. It looks like he might have had a bigger play if he'd have cut it inside. Liam Connor in the kickoff for BC. Sends 
Drives this one high and short. Cameron Ross from his own three. Allowing his blockers to develop. Give to Robichaux. Big hole up the middle. Still on his feet inside the 20 down to the 15. Oh, they're going fast. Down to the five goes Jaden Williams. Give to Robichaux. Powers his way into the end zone. Well, how about that execution? The tip pass, the fumble, but they just got right back to doing what they do. Castellanos on the big run. Fourth and one conversion, going fast, getting in the end zone. Robichaux's fifth rushing touchdown of the year. Really top 10 in college football, so you're anticipating some sort of man. Crossing routes are effective against that. Roberson to throw. Quick slant route, hits a receiver right at the yard marker. UConn now 4 of 5 on third down as they convert. Edwards, nowhere to go. Swallowed up on the play by Donovan Ezeraku. Cam Horsley, watch him right here. Watch the penetration that he gets. And yeah, we talked about the size difference of the offensive lineman Walker and Cam Horsley just drives him backwards and really blows up that play. For seven from that linebacker spot, though he drops in coverage. Still get pressure on him though, Roberson. He's gonna have to do it on his own. Now he throws downfield and the receiver can't come up with it. Average per kick, over 45 yards, lets this one fly. You can see why drives oh, wow. it. Williams all the way back to his 15. He'll have an opportunity though on the return, 30. It's brought down at the 34, but good starting field position for the Eagles. Longer, I should say. Yeah, Eagles are 0 for 2 on third down today. Try and pick this one up on the ground. Robichaux gets it. Lewis Bond, number 11, and Redback in the game for BC. That's a good sign. Castellanos maybe looking his way. He is. No flag on the play. Now we get one. Chris Shear in the safety and coverage on Bond. Franklin, the tight end in motion. Broom. Low center of gravity. You think you're done with dealing with the physical runner when Robichaux's out, but no. I mean, that, first of all, great hole up front. But then you get Alex Broom, only 5'6", 192 pounds. Let's go back to the ball quick. You know, they're trying to tire out this UConn defense line. Castellanos is just handing the ball off. Broom gets knocked down, but that'll, that'll pick up a first down to be able to hand the ball off and run the ball at a six yards a clip. Now he's throwing. Pocket collapsing, steps up. He's gonna run it, he has room up the middle. Now bounces it outside, put that ball away. Flags all over the place. Room in the backfield with Castellanos. Castellanos will throw. Out to Broom on the screen, he can walk in. of the game and really he just beats the pressure coming to the outside and number 15 really should flare they call it flare control pick up the back who's flaring out to the recipient of an easy touchdown needed more flare on that play needed more flare not nearly as many pieces as required even those those meetings at 8 a.m and you know, i took that into try to replicate in my career Pass batted down after pressure applied by BC. Play pass. Coughlin was an offensive guy. Jeff Halfley, he's a defensive backs guy. There's no wonder why his DBs are playing the way they are. Williams, after another great Caratan punt, going to get driven back. Brought down inside the 20. They'll mark him at the 18. Castellanos, low snap, quick throw. Almost a great oh, hand. What a hand catch. catch by Skeet. He'll be brought down at the 41. That's why they need to get number six involved more often. What a great catch. Yeah, they have. Let's take another look at that catch. I mean, just a great job of concentrating. You see there's a linebacker coming from inside out, got on the outside, and, and the ability to start his feet again. He's got room and a blocker in front. Patiently awaited for that block to come to fruition. The UConn looks like they're lining up and the man coverage with maybe a whole player underneath. Castellanos will throw. UConn brings just four, so he's got plenty of time. And to your point, just get some of it back. The way the running game is heating up. Come on. 
Trying to find some blocks. Can he get a block from his quarterback? Can he need more than one? The pursuit just catches up with him. That's going to be a loss of five. Got to convert here, though, on third down and long to keep this drive alive. Castellanos to throw. UConn bringing just three. He's got time, but throws it into traffic, and it's incomplete. You see his two for two on fourth down today, but this is a different kettle of fish. Castellanos has time. He's going to have to make it on his own. Now he wants to throw to the end zone. Has a receiver. If he doesn't overthrow him, and he does. Wow. Textbook. And it's third down. Pressure up the middle. Set up the screen. They did it nicely. Mitchell got to make some men miss, and he gets the first down. Jalen Mitchell, the transfer from Louisville. They will snap it and go for it. Roberson is going to throw it. No way. Trying to hit his big <laughs> fella out of the backfield, and that one was blowing up. Stafford was the intended receiver. So this is four down territory for Boston College. Tomlin on the carry. Has a blocker in front of him. That's Robes show, and he falls forward for the first down. Second Look, down and one. Ineligible receiver right there. Castellanos is going to run it. Gets enough for the first down. They'll move the sticks. Clock will stop temporarily. And Boston College that time running to the short side of the field. Castellanos to throw. Going to the end zone. Double coverage. It's intercepted. That's a big mistake by Castellanos. That had no chance. No. Dude. And to, you know, also, Dixon Williams does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes. You know, there was never... A look off by Castellanos. It was, hey, this is my guy. I'm going for him. The utmost concern for Boston College is converting on this third down. Good block by Jaden Williams on the edge to first down Boston College. So the offensive line for BC. More ahead to throw. It's Griffin. Ooh, wow. Who gets plastered. Went to the locker room at the half. They come out. Coaching staff says... Be ready, because you're going in. Another big hole for Robichaux. Moving the sticks again. This offensive line is taking over. It's demoralizing. Franklin in motion, the tight end to the top of your screen. Now he comes back. A little confusion, and Broom has dropped for a loss. Yeah, and there it is. A true junior. Watch number eight shoot the gap, get underneath the pulling guard, and just able to blow up the tight end. Tomlin in motion. Moorhead looking his way. Now fakes that way and tries to come the other way for the screen, but he overshoots his receiver out of the backfield, Alex Broom. Good snap, good hold, good kick. Just sails wide right. Once again, UConn's defense holds. Well, we may talk more defense with you than offense because BC with an opportunity here on third down to get back off the field, applying pressure. Nice Great play. play to get rid of it, though. Not going to be a first down, but a nice play by Roberson. BC forcing UConn to punt. Williams will let it bounce. That takes a fortuitous bounce for the Eagles. If he's in there, he's got to use his legs to his advantage. Throwing. Williams sidesteps the defender, gets shoved out of bounds. Flag down right about the point of attack. And the, the bottom line is he buys time at quarterback and make has made them competitive until this O-line has started to solidify, and now they're starting to play. Nice oh, look at that there. pass. There you go, break down this pass, Doug. Well, it's an, he's a corner route. He turns the safety. There's a coverage in the flat. First and foremost right now, Eagles trying to convert here on third down. Williams again in motion. Castellanos will throw. BC brings a little bit of pressure here. Fires that one to Williams. And they'll move the sticks. That's another confident throw. Now Broom in motion. Empty backfield. Castellanos fakes. Wants to go downfield. Has a lot of room to run if he chooses. Now he throws. Has a wide open tight end. Inside the 15. That's Charlie Gordonier. Really get downfield. That's 30 yards. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. He had Gordonier. About five seconds earlier in the play, too. He was open for about 10 seconds, and finally, again, instead of just taking off, he kind of just sl slid to the outside and delivered the ball. Robichaux, there's a lot of room to run there. He'll score easily. Well, whatever was wrong with Castellanos at the half. Big boy drive. Yeah. And, that, and that's you know something Boston College hasn't had. In the past, you know, year or so. You also have a quarterback like how you played who can make something happen, make a playmaker. 
Well, there, there's a little comfort zone now. They're up two scores. Ageless, Doug. You're ageless. Roberson has misfired on seven of his last eight. Oh, that's a beautiful pass nice right throw. there. First down as he finds Jordan Porter. He's over the top. So he's going to break to the corner. And this ball is perfectly placed underneath the safety to the sideline, away from the defender. Strong eye, excuse me. Edwards just powering his way to the first down. Roberson gets Porter. Nice speed. Porter gets down to the 30. It's pretty good gen genetics there. Charlton came here when they hired Jim Moore a year and a half ago. Look at Edwards. Still on his feet. He'll score. Boom. No quit in UConn this afternoon. 30 yards for the touchdown. And this is just a great outside zone. And breaks the first tackle, gets to the open field, and just refuses to go down. Not the fastest guy. Great run. A couple back-to-back -back big games for Cam Edwards. Yeah, coming off almost 150 last time out. Now he's got 83 this afternoon. His ability to move. Castellanos throwing. Complete to Griffin. That's a first down. Well, he's thrown a lot more as a pocket passer here in the second half. More focused on hitting your mark because you know there's not really a second threat. That was a great throw. And a good job by Joe Griffin again. Good job of taking what the defense gave him on that throw. Going to give room three on the catch. Now Castellanos will roll. Has a defender right in his face. Going to have to get rid of it here. And he's going to get sacked. Price Yates again in the backfield brings him down. Yeah, he did. And, you know, it's just a good job of staying in your leverage. You see how he chops his feet and just gets in front of him, doesn't run past Castellanos. That's a good job of playing team defense on the ball or throw a screen. Don't want to turn the ball over in this situation. Room in motion. Castellanos wanted to. Lauren DiLoretto, the punter for Boston College. Fair catch signal and made by Cameron Ross. Yeah, she was the, the girl in that. She does such a great job on her Instagram feed interviewing the guys every week. A.B. Hasselbeck on Instagram. Edwards. Man, Edwards has taken over in this fourth quarter. Had a long touchdown run on the last drive. Edwards. Can he get to the edge? He does. Keeps it in bounds inside the 30. Flag comes down. Pressure from all over the place. Roberson flushed in the pocket. Has to get rid of it and throws it to nobody in particular. Got flags in the secondary, though. You just got to get a wide receiver to make someone miss. Roberson to throw. Now he's flushed. He can get a lot of yards on his own, but he pitches it off. That's Buckman. No way rule is on to try a 54-yard attempt. Snap and holder, good rule is, puts a foot into it, but it's nowhere near enough. Short and wide right. Four minute type situation. Boston College wants to run as much clock as possible, so there's going to be a heavy dose of Broom and Robichaux. Broom this time on first down, gets 11 yards. Broom. Jumps over a would-be defender. Castellanos keeps it this time. Hangs forward for about two. Come out. Looked into on that comment. Was it physically not feeling well? Was it emotionally not feeling well? You just don't know. Here he's got to pick up the first down and does. Still on his feet. That we've seen from one. Yeah. Normally it's... You know, it's... it's you know, the, the heart and soul of this offense, if you will. And I feel like here in this second half, he is gutting it out. But to pour into these young players and these young coaches, and, and you see him doing that when you talk to offensive coordinator Nick Charlton. Really appreciative of Moore's wisdom and guidance. It's a one-point game at Rice. They get a, a win by one score, and then last week just barely lose to South Florida. Yeah, they came into the game averaging 210 which was first in the ACC, they're going <laughs> to hold that spot, I believe.